Hey Java Operation folks, welcome to the JDK24 release notes video dedicated entirely to you, the lovely people who make sure our applications build and run smoothly in production. With the JDK24 release, there are a number of noteworthy changes that will impact how Java applications are built, run, and managed. There are two other videos covering the JDK24 release notes, one for the developers, and another covering security, the latter should be available in the next couple of days. In the bottom right hand corner will be the JEP or JBS ID for the current issue I'm covering, and in the description will be the link to the JEPs and JBS homepages that can allow easy lookup for the issues you'd like to learn more about. With that, let's get into the operational changes coming to JDK24. JEP 475 adds late berry expansion for the G1 garbage collector. This is a rather technical JEP, so you'll want to read it to get the real details. The high level overview is how C2 handles compilation of G1's ripe berries, which should result in a 10 to 20% reduction in overhead for C2 compilation. JEP 483 introduces the first project Leiden feature ahead of time class loading and linking. This should provide a noticeable improvement to application startup times. Be sure to check the project Leiden homepage. Also, if you'd like to learn more about class loading and linking, check out my video on JVM startup. JEP 491 synchronized virtual threads without pinning addresses an issue brought up in the feedback of virtual threads not unmounting when performing an operation in a synchronized block. The most prominent example of this was covered in a June 2024 Netflix blog article, link in the description. JEP 493 linking runtime images without JMODs reduces the size of the JDK by allowing JDKs to be shipped without the JMOD files. Not all JDK distros will adopt this change. However, you'll want to check to see if your JDK distro adopts this JEP. The name of JEP 479, remove the Windows 32-bit x86 port, says it all. Sorry, Windows 32-bit developers. Though Linux developers, bad news. JEP 501, deprecate the 32-bit x86 port for removal, applies to Linux, the only remaining 32-bit x86 version. JEP 490 removes the non-generational ZDC mode. Generational ZDC was added in JDK 21 and made default in JDK 23 when using GDC. This JEP completes the migration to generational ZGC. JEP 404 introduces the generational mode for the Shenandoah GC as an experimental feature, which would be included in the Red Hat OpenJDK distro. And JEP 450 adds compact object headers as an experimental feature. This is part of Project Lilliput. For more information, check the description. The JAR tools extract operation has been enhanced to allow the keep old files or the K options to be used to prevent overwriting files, like in these examples. The JAR tools extract operation has been enhanced to allow the dir or the c options to be used to specify the directory where the archive will be extracted. These examples demonstrate how to use this new command. A new JDK specific monitoring and management interface, JDK Management Virtual Thread Scheduler MX Bean, has been added to allow JMX based tooling to monitor and manage the virtual thread scheduler. Allowing monitoring of the scheduler's target parallelism, threads used, and the number of virtual threads queued. It also supports dynamically changing the scheduler's target parallelism. JPackets can use Wix toolset v3, v4, and v5, automatically choosing the newest installed version. JPackets supports custom Wix sources in both Wix v3 and v4 formats. If Wix v4 or v5 is used, JPackets will automatically convert custom Wix sources in Wix v3 to v4. Two commands have been added to the JCMD command line tool to print information that might be useful when diagnosing issues with virtual threads. Thread v thread scheduler and thread v thread polars. Check the JBS for details on how to use these two new commands. The Javadoc API documentation contains a new summary page listing external specifications referenced by Java SE and JDK APIs. A link to the new summary page can be found in the index page linked in the API documentation navigation bar. There are a few features that have been removed in JDK 24. 
Jindy Remote Code Downloading for LDAP and RMI providers is now permanently disabled. The ComSun Jindy RMI Object Trust URL Codebase and ComSun Jindy LDAP Object Trust URL Codebase system properties are removed. Some Java X management classes contained a feature for serialization compatibility with JMX releases up to 1.2. These provided no value and have been removed. The Java command no longer accepts the T, TM, X feature, check source, CS, and no async GC options. Using any of these options will result in an error and a failure to launch Java. If you're using X feature, consider using X verify all in its place. There are a few features that have been deprecated in JDK 24. Start preparing migration plans for these features. The debug D subcommand of the JHS DB tool is deprecated for removal in a future release. JHS DB debug D is an RMI server which provides a remote interface for other JHS DB commands. These commands use the connect option, which is also deprecated for removal. This will not affect usage of JHS DB for debugging local VMs or core files. The JSTAT D tool is deprecated for removal in a future release. JSTAT D is an RMI server application which monitors hotspot VMs and provides remote interface for JSTAT. This will not affect usage of JSTAT for monitoring local VMs using the attached API. JRunScript tool has been deprecated and will be removed in a future release. Use of this tool will now print a deprecation warning. The JDK JS object module is deprecated and will be removed in a future release. The JDK JS object module will instead be delivered with the Java FX24 and later. To facilitate the transition, JDK JS object is now an upgradable module in the JDK. This allows applications to use the version of JDK JS object delivered with Java FX in place of the one in the JDK to avoid the compiler warning. The new lightweight locking mechanism for object monitor locking was introduced in JDK 21 under JDK 8291555. This new locking mechanism, LM underscore lightweight, is now the default. For more details on this change, check the JBS issue. With all 32-bit x86 ports slated for removal, the architecture agnostic zero port would be the only remaining way to run Java programs in 32-bit x86 processors going forward. The verbose GC, no class GC, verify, verify remote, SS, MS, and MX options of the Java command are deprecated for removal. Usage of any of these options when launching a Java application will now, will now log a deprecation warning. This chart shows uh, options for migration off of some of these arguments. There are a few known issues that have been resolved in JDK 24. The issue has been fixed with entries in the Java and Java C groups not being properly managed during an RPM upgrade. Check the JBS issue for more details on this. Doclint in Java C and Java Doc no longer warns about a triple backslash single line dangling comment that starts a file. This is to accommodate systems that support a stylized comment on the first line of a source file as a way to auto-execute the file. The JVM specification is permissive regarding the number of entries of the runtime visible parameter annotations and the runtime invisible parameter annotations attributes in the class file format. The Java C tool was less permissive and was rejecting class files that had a number, a different number of entries than Java C expected. There are a few other changes to note. Most of these are minor behavior changes. When redefining a class with JVM TI redefined classes, the new bytecodes are verified with the class file verifier, regardless of setting of the deprecated X verify option. Unified logging now outputs a special empty decorator followed by a space after new lines in a multi-line log message. This change allows unambiguous parsing of unified logging output. This chart demonstrates the change. The CDS archives for the compact object headers feature are not included in the JDK released by Oracle. 
In order to take advantage of the startup performance offered by CDS, the user can build the CDS archives with compact object headers as follows. This command generates the classes coh.jsa, which is located in the same directory as default CDS archive. This command generates a archive with compact object headers and with compressed OOPS disabled, named class no coops coh JSA located in the same directory. Starting with JDK24, the JLink add modules all module path option will require users to explicitly set the module path with dash dash module path. To create an image with all JDK modules, use the on screen command instead. Command line arguments to the Java launcher are no longer converted with Windows best fit mapping when the arguments include unmappable characters for the ANSI code page. This mapping has been intervening in the Java launcher's argument parsing. Unmappable characters are now replaced with the default replacement character, such as a question mark in some cases. For rare cases where applications need those unmappable characters on the command line, select UTF-8 in Windows Regional Settings. And that's it for the operational changes coming in JDK24. The security release notes video will be coming out in the next few days, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Until then, happy running!